Before the 2010s, GSC had a lot of projects they worked on. After the release of Call of Pripyat, Sergei let his younger brother take the reins for Stalker 2. But what is known about Stalker 2 from 2012, the cancelled one that we never saw? Well, GSC went bankrupt. I heard things about a Stalker movie or show that staff were being underpaid, that Stalker 2 was finished and shown to him, and it was not the one he envisioned, much like another Shadow of Chernobyl. Grigorievich got a product akin to Clear Sky, another faction war shooter, and wasn't satisfied with it. After this, GSC went bankrupt. Most of the employees were fired and went to Fastock Games, which should ring a bell if you are well versed in this, according to Tejas Stalker at least. As it stands, Stalker 2 would have been a sequel to the third installment, Call of Pripyat. It was supposed to continue in a new version of GSC's game engine, X-Ray 2.0. Very little details were revealed about the game, other than it would be a multi-platform release and that it would feature a new engine made from scratch. The game closure post reads, Stalkers, while most of you are angry and upset, which we understand, please know that since December 2011, the entire Stalker team, myself included, was working without pay on Stalker 2 while new investors were scouted. That is our dedication. Sadly, we could not gain legal rights to the franchise. We are still the same team working now at Vostok Games and on Cerverium. Remember Cerverium? That didn't do well, huh? It was announced in early 2012 that the game would resume development provided GSC would get the required funding. Ultimately, on April 25th, 2012, the game's development was officially frozen. There are many rumors why, such as Grigorovich not being happy with the game's progress, a lack of investment into the game's development, internal conflicts inside GSC, or GSC running into severe financial problems. Officially, it was stated to have resulted from dispute between investors, staff, and the original IP rights owner. GSC closed in 2012 and reopened back in 2014. However, there was no mention regarding the Stalker series, and the company was working on different unrelated projects. This is when Sergei's younger brother begins to take over more, as he himself takes up other things. Stalker 2 as we know it, announced in 2018, planned for a release in 2021, and was ultimately delayed. We don't see this game six years later in 2024. Very little was known about the original concept. It was supposed to continue the story of the first three games as a new chapter, and it was to take place in the zone. It was to support DirectX 11. CryEngine 3 had been in consideration. Among the confirmed features as stated in the official interviews is that it was planned to feature new mutants, new areas, new uses for artifacts, and female stalkers. It was also confirmed that the main protagonist of the series was supposed to be Strelok, and that the game's level layout should have featured a large single area game world to eliminate loading times. It had been confirmed that the game was to have been set in a triangle between both areas of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and Pripyat. GSCfan.com, a GSC fan site, managed to acquire never before seen renders and concept art of some of the proposed mutants for the original concept of Stalker 2. This is where lots of cut mutants and art came from, as we would have never seen any of this otherwise. This is why you might see that watermark on some of those images. That's where that came from. It was weirdly close too. The developers came in for a meeting. Pizza, Pepsi, and all at the ready. Big GSC man himself, the Griga, comes in and says, Yeah, we're done. Goodbye. And left. And that was it. Gregor even later admitted that he regretted closing the company and considers it to be his biggest mistake. It was a really weird situation. And what about that movie idea? The idea about creating a film adaptation of the soccer series has been around since 2008 at Igro Mir Video Game Exhibition in 2008. Former GSC PR manager Oleg Yavorsky talked about it in an interview, mentioning that the actor Gosha Kutsenko, who attended the event in a stalker costume, could play a major role in such a movie. There was even a photo shoot of the actor in the suit made. 
However, work on the actual thing started sometime in late 2009 or early 2010 when it was decided to create a TV series first. Soon after, the idea was changed to create a TV series instead. The plot would be an original story set in the universe based on the games. Some characters from the trilogy were supposed to appear in it, as mentioned in a later interview with Yavorsky. Originally, it was planned to film in Pripyat, but the production moved to Odessa instead, where sewer systems and abandoned factories were used as scenery. Initial idea assumed 26 episodes, but only a pilot episode was created. In November of 2010, a dedicated webpage of the series was launched, which doesn't work properly anymore. An official trailer was also released. Some photos from the set have been published on the website. However, the whole thing was ultimately cancelled soon afterwards. The CEO of GSC, Sergei, wasn't pleased with the outcome and decided to cancel the project in favor of a full-length movie that was planned to be released in 2012. So the rumors I heard about both the movie and the TV show weren't unsubstantiated, it seems. According to a 2011 interview with Grigorovich, the movie would be about Sherlock and how he got into the zone. An entire movie trilogy was actually planned to be created, however, GSC dissolved later that year and consequently both Stalker 2 and the movie were cancelled. An early version of Stalker 2 leaked online, allegedly coming from 2011. Its source is user Marcus Brutus from the Russian forum APPro.ru, but it should be noted that this is not a playable release. The material can only be accessed using the X-Ray 2.0 engine editor, on which Shadow of Chernobyl's sequel was originally created. Files made available by Marcus Brutus contain various resources, including locations and models of characters and weapons, but also scripts. Internet users have even managed to create a gameplay based on this version of the game, although, of course, it is rather raw. The same can be said of almost all the leaked materials. Some internet users point to this as proof of how badly the development of the second stalker was going, before the temporary dissolution of GSC Game World. The other thing is that the sequel was supposed to be released only in 2012, according to the announcement from 2010, and the Ukrainian team is not famous for punctuality. It's probably an early test version, so it's hard to expect it to look like a finished product. What do you think we could have gotten from this cancelled game, this cancelled Stalker 2? Or what about the movie or the TV show? Do you think we, what we will receive in November will be anything like this original idea? more than a decade later from the original product. Of course, this is a series almost 25 years in the making, so I'm sure they know what they're doing. If there's any points I missed, glazed over, or neglected entirely, please let me know.